Welcome back to VBAR 101. Uh, today I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Swashplate Servos Expert Panel. We will go through each uh, section here and uh, so you get a good overview of what it is, even if you uh, most likely won't touch most of the parameters here, but uh, at least you will have a, a good notice about what they are and what they do. Uh, so, uh, servo parameters is the actually the build up or the complete uh, setup for how the swash plate is built. So you have angle and you have distance, and those two parameters make uh, makes up for how the swash plate is built. So if you, for example, have a uh, 140 degree swash plate which isn't in the um, standard buttons over here, you can enter angle and distance move those red dots which represent the servos out here and here and you get 140 percent 140 degrees swash plate by changing this the collective is actually tied directly to the collective slider over here so um, there's nothing i change here the center is you can actually tweak each center of each servo uh, i don't do it there i'm actually going to do it later on the swash uh, level swash section in the next episode but uh, you will see this number change and i'm going to show you later on next section is uh, where you can actually rotate the swash plate virtually uh, it's good if you have a setup where you don't have a swash driver you can uh, adjust on the head then you might need to adjust the swash plate instead basically and that's to prevent facing facing is uh, aileron vs elevator interaction i'm going to show you later on how we tweak that uh, in in either real life or the simulator depending on weather Next, the next step is the linkage type. Here you have the different swash plate types. You have H1, which is mechanical mixing, H3, HR3 reversed, H4. Uh, so when you choose this different, uh, it will change the values over here, as I said. Collective reverse is something that you should be checked if you have trailing edge control of your main blade grips, meaning the ball link for the blade is behind the blade. I use leading control, my ball link is uh, in front of the blade, therefore this should be unchecked. Uh, in a, this, this situation the swash plate is at bottom for a negative pitch for uh, when you have trailing control the, uh, it it's in in the bottom for f full positive pitch geometric correction should be on uh, it counteracts the interaction you get because of the circular movement of the servos it's automatically turned off when it should be turned off and that's when you run h1 or mechanical mixing servos uh, analog servos versus digital servos at if you choose analog service it will drive the service slower it will have an update of about uh, 20 milliseconds whereas on digital service it will be seven uh, and as you can figure if i know some people that has flipped this off by mistake and then driving their very expensive servos uh, at 20 milliseconds and get very terrible performance out of it so make sure digital servers if you have them um, to get the best performance out of it finally we're gonna look through the last two boxes here and then we have cyclic gain and cyclic ring that's one of the uh, debated uh, inputs uh, in the v-bar especially if you set up one uh, helicopter there is no preset for so cyclic ring if we start with that one is the physical limiter of the throw on the servos it nothing will get past that one uh, meaning if you lower this value you will get less cyclic throw the cyclic gain is the limit of the control loop <coughs> meaning you can overdrive the control loop to get in a certain uh, way better performance but in the same time you don't want it too high because uh, some other um, competition competition has done this to mask uh, certain issues and you can get away and get really good response but then you notice you switch blade and then it flies like crap because of 
uh, geometrics and and physical issues. So I usually start. There is a tool online, vstabi.info, for calculating how much. I usually take cyclic ring times 1.25, meaning 25% higher cyclic gain than the cyclic ring, and I'm all good to go as a start. Uh, as I said, you can probably tweak it uh, later on, but also notice that if you run it too high, you will sooner or later run into ill effects. Uh, the cyclic ring should be set as so you get um, around 11 or 10 11 degrees cyclic deflection on the blades. I'm going to show later on how to measure this when we finalize the setup of this helicopter. Uh, but I would, if you run into values below 60, then then you really need to reconsider your geometric setup because um, it's not a good setup. The problem is all helicopters that we convert from uh, paddle helicopter to flyberless, they aren't optimized for flyberless. I bet you in a few years when everyone is running flyberless our helicopter and bell cranks and everything will be adopted to be good out of the box. It might be even in the next version of VBAR that uh, this has changed and there will be only one value I pushed for it. Uh, it should be a the VSTOBI team should be able to calculate how, what's the optimal value for a given uh, cyclic ring. Pitch pump is something I don't use. It overdrives the pitch when you do quick uh, reversal on the pitch, so you actually get harder stops. Uh, I like to run high pitch and have that pitch pump in my fingers instead. It's a preference which you like. Sensor setting is what we see here. The, uh, the graphical representation of it here. If I rep reverse the sensor, you will see the change here. So if you are going to, if you find yourself sitting in a situation where you have uh, the sensor mounted in one way and the picture mounted in another way, and your still your movement is correct, then something else is wrong. Actually, you have done three things wrong somewhere down here, but. Uh, it should match your helicopter period. That concludes the Swashplate Servo Expert Panel. I will come back here a couple of times more when we start to finalize the setup and start tweaking it and uh, things like that. But that covers it and um, we will uh, continue with uh, the next episode which is uh, to level the swash.